We're here to commemorate the achievements of three very special people. These individuals have served our community in a variety of ways while upholding the mission and values of their alma mater. At this time, I'd like to invite our inductees and those accepting on their behalf to join me on the stage. Dr. Ahmed Awad, Mackenzie and Ben Bridenthal for their father, George Bridenthal, and Father Michael Hermas for Dr. Lisa Rodriguez. Would you join me up on the stage, please? Uh, you may be seated. <laughs> Our first inductee is Dr. Ahmed Awad, class of 1984. Dr. Awad is a board certified nephrologist and internal medicine specialist. Dr. Awad earned his bachelor at UMKC and then his osteopathic medicine degree in 1994 from the Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. He went on to complete an internal medicine residency and a nephrology fellowship at the UMKC School of Medicine. But before that, he got his start and foundation in the English as a Second Language program at Donnelly College in 1984. Throughout his career, Dr. Awad has been a provider with the Kansas City Kidney Consultants. He has a special interest in the causes and prevalence of kidney disease within populations and its effect on cardiac disease. Outside of practicing medicine, Dr. Awad is an assistant professor of medicine at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, a private consulting nephrologist at St. Luke's Hospital, president of the National Kidney Foundation of Kansas and Western Missouri, and past chair of the Early Intervention Program at the National Kidney Foundation. Dr. Awad has written guidelines on early detection and diagnosis of kidney disease for primary care physicians and co-authored several medical publications. He was also appointed by the Missouri Governor Matt Blunt in 2007 to the Chronic Kidney Disease Task Force. In addition, Dr. Awad is CEO of Kansas City-based clinical research consultants, which conducts pharmaceutical research studies and clinical trials. Over the last decade, its studies have provided information on medications for various medical conditions, including hypertension, diabetes, anemia, chronic kidney disease, and kidney failure. One colleague described Dr. Awad as followed. Through his humor-centered approach in his various professional endeavors, all who engage with him are touched by his compassion and respect for humanity. He exemplifies a rare commitment to serving, healing, and strengthening not only the physical well-being of the body, but also to improving the social and economic welfare of, less, of the less fortunate in our society. At this time, I would like to formally induct Dr. Ahmed Awad into the 2017 Donnelly College Alumni Hall of Fame. Dr. Awad.
you know, would you like to speak? I, I want to just say a couple of words. Um, it's wonderful to be back uh, after 33 years. Uh, Donnelly, some of the students describe it as home, opportunity, and service, which is really wonderful and genuine. Um, this country in general offered me an opportunity not my own countries did. Uh, when I graduated from high school, I wanted to proceed a medical career. I tried everywhere, but then a friend of my father said, hey, I have a friend lives in Kansas City, and let's uh, try that. Sent my grades to UMKC, and they accepted me in the pre-med school at UMKC. But before that, I have to learn English and culture. So I came to Downey College through that friend. And I have to say, the first time I ate French fries with, with ketchup was in the Downey College <laughs> cafeteria. Never forget it. Uh, <laughs> never ate French fries and ketchup before I was 17 years old. Um, the other thing I remember clear clearly is, many of you may remember this, is the uh, Royals winning the world champion uh, in 1985. So here I come to a country that uh, they're playing a guy who stands with a stick, and I get a guy standing with a ball and throwing, and the guy with the stick just stands, doesn't swing, and then a couple of times, and then you see him swinging. Then, you know, I learned that this is baseball. Uh, never played it before, never seen it, didn't know what the rules were. Donnelly played a, a role in teaching me what baseball was all about. And then the next year, the Kansas City wins the world champion. Then I had to wait 30 years later for them. <laughs> I thought I was coming to a champion city. <laughs> um, so these are some of the things you'll always remember for the rest of your life. And how this uh, university or college offered me the opportunity to pursue a dream. Without the English or the culture, I would not have uh, succeeded where I am today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Awad, and congratulations again. Our second inductee is George Bridenthal, class of 1969. George Bridenthal was a dot uh, resident product of Wyandotte County. He was born and raised down the street from Donnelly College's present location and chose to stay in the community he loved for his whole life. George did not start his college experience at Donnelly, but readily credited Donnelly for giving him a second chance at higher education and the solid foundation he needed for future success. He earned his associate's degree in 1969 and went on to graduate in 1972 from Kansas State Teachers College. After two years working in Kansas City, Kansas as a teacher, he joined six generations of family bankers, starting in customer service and working his way up to management at Security Bank. Eventually, he and his partners bought Turner Bank and Call Valley Bank, where George respectively served as president and chairman of the board. Throughout his career, he loved helping employees grow through the ranks, just as he did. After retiring from banking, he embraced civic involvement and focused on his passions, youth, education, and history. In 1983, he was elected to the Kansas City, Kansas School Board, and in 1991, he joined Donnelly's Board of Directors, serving both institutions steadfastly until his sudden passing in 2015. At Donnelly, George served a term as board chair, and most recently co-chaired the Transformation Capital Campaign successfully setting the stage for the largest capital initiative in the college's history. Through George's family foundation, started by his grandfather more than 50 years ago, he
He supported Donnelly student scholarships and campus activities. He often stated that the students we serve today were just like the students in the late 1960s, simply those in need of an opportunity. George also gave of his time and resources to the Children's Campus, United Way of Wyandotte County, the Boys and Girls Club, State and County Historical Board, and the list goes on. He devoted a substantial quantity of his life to attending board meetings and getting to know the students he served. One of his favorite ways to engage was to join us at Shine each year and sit with a full table of students. He was often found cheering on Kate, Kansas City, Kansas high school sports, especially girls basketball. He left us too soon but his legacy certainly lives on. We are pleased that George's children, Mackenzie and Ben, are accepting on their father's behalf. At this time, I would like to formally induct George Bridenthal into the 2017 Donnelly College Alumni Hall of Fame. We are fortunate that in Shine, at Shine in 2009, George spoke about his path to Donnelly. I knew that two things were on the horizon for me sitting out. One was the draft. Second was the fact that I thought I'd never come back to college if I once set out. So I had heard about this place, Donnelly College, because I grew up near the neighborhood. So I went in there and they, they put me in a room with a nun. And this, I grew up just in a Catholic neighborhood, so I'd heard all these stories. Believe me, I was scared to death and I was looking for rulers and all kinds of things because I knew that I was never gonna get out of that room. Well, I was treated so kindly by the folks at Donnelly College who looked at the transcript and didn't laugh, at least not in front of me and told me that they would allow me to come to night school for nine hours and see how I did. Donnelly gave me the chance in 1969 and it's the same chance they've given many young people up to today and I, and I appreciate that. Well, two of my, my main friends at Donnelly College were folks named Kazi Hussein and Ziba Azar from India and she would not let me say Iran, it was Persia. Um, so Donnelly had a great diversity of students in those days as they do today and it's one of the things that makes Donnelly the place to be, the place where you can really learn about the world and you can learn about yourself. Thank you Mackenzie and Ben and congratulations again on your father's induction. Our final inductee for this evening is Dr. Lisa Rodriguez, class of 2001. As a newcomer to Kansas in 1998, Lisa was determined to seek out and be given an opportunity to realize her dream of going to college. That dream led Lisa to Donnelly's English as a Second Language program that same year. As it was said in Lisa's Hall of Fame nomination, little did she know that her instructors would awaken in her her deeper passion for learning and the newfound dream to become a nurse. After completing one year of ESL studies, Lisa went on to pursue her associates in science degree from Donnelly. Those were busy years, Lisa recalled, of her Donnelly days, reminiscing how she balanced motherhood and a part-time job along with school. You don't see that much anymore. Uh, 
those were busy years. She relied on campus study, room, campus study rooms and often sought refuge in the chapel. I didn't really have a social life, Lisa said, for her 2001 Donnelly commencement ceremony. Lisa had the honor of being student speaker, a recognition of her hard work and accomplishments. Lisa didn't miss a beat in her pursuit of a dream career. Just two years later, in 2003, she graduated magna cum laude with a bachelor's degree of science in nursing from Avila University. Lisa's early career in healthcare has spanned many areas, working in skilled nursing at Providence Hospital and caring for HIV patients at Kansas City Free Health Clinic as an HIV clinical nurse and prevention educator. Lisa's awareness of the growing need to serve indigent populations, including Spanish-speaking patients, motivated her to become a nurse practitioner so that she could have more autonomy and serve patients in a different capacity. In 2008, Lisa reached her goal and earned her master's in nursing at the University of Kansas. She went on to earn her doctor of nursing in 2016, also from KU's School of Nursing. She graduated with honors and had an additional emphasis in clinical and organizational leadership. She is currently entering her ninth year at the University of Kansas Cancer Center as the Blood and Morrow Transplant Nurse Practitioner Coordinator. Lisa is attending her son's graduation from Army Basic Training in Georgia and is unable to be with us tonight. But we are pleased that Father Michael Hermas will be accepting on her behalf. At this time, I'd like to formally induct Dr. Lisa Rodriguez into the 2017 Donnelly College Alumni Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Well, obviously, I'm not Lisa Rodriguez, so. But I am president of her fan club. Very honored to say a few words on behalf of Lisa. She's a very dear friend of mine for 20 years. Those of us who know and love Lisa are very proud of her and her induction into the Donnelly College Hall of Fame. She's worked really hard over the past 20 years. And she knows, she's certain, that she wouldn't be where she is today without the support of Donnelly. Lisa's very grateful for all that she's received during her time as a Donnelly College student, and she asked me to convey to all of you how honored she is to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. When I met Lisa 20 years ago at All Saints Catholic Parish in KCK, I remember the first time I met her, she didn't speak a word of English. She was a new arrival to the U.S. from Chihuahua, Mexico. She came here to st for studies and to explore the possibility of a future in our country. She arrived here with great hopes and big dreams. She had a strong desire to serve God and she wanted to be of service to the Catholic Church. She shared with me that one day, that first day, that God willing, that she hoped to fall in love, have her own family, and she wanted to find a career where she could help others and serve the community. So she came with all these great plans and big dreams. But her question was, where should I go to get from here to there? How can I accomplish my goals and fulfill my dreams? And I said, the first step, first stop should be over at Donnelly College. So she enrolled in the ESL program at Donnelly in order to learn English so she could pass her TOEFL exam, which she did right away, and she, got her, so she stayed and got her associate's degree at Donnelly. And all of us who are friends with Lisa, we could see her confidence going up every week, every month as she attended Donnelly College. She received over there the support, the encouragement, the academic rigor she needed to keep going forward and to take the next steps to realize her hopes and dreams. 
And as we, as we just heard, there were people, whether well, Donnelly, who supported her, her teachers, her academic advisors, and she mentioned Sister Mary especially. And most importantly, she had many prayers and conversations with God in the chapel at Donnelly. She figured out over time that she was being called to be a nurse and to serve our community in healthcare. So she finished and got her associates and moved on to Avila and then to KU for her master's and KU for her doctorate as a nurse practitioner. And the whole time while she's doing that at Don Lee's, her studies, at the same time, Lisa fell in love with her husband, Jose, and I celebrated their wedding. So then they had a wonderful child, Luis, who was graduating tomorrow from basic training at Fort Benning, Georgia. She couldn't be happier and prouder of her family and her, of her son's accomplishments. And also during the exact same time, she served the Catholic Church. So right away I asked her to help us with our youth group and with her husband, Jose, and our good friends, Ted and Leticia Garcia, table number 13. What excellent role models for our young people to look up to, to admire and to imitate. And those were great days on Central Avenue Youth Ministry 20 years ago. Yeah. But all, over all these years, I've sent so many people to go talk to Lisa for advice and for just buen consejo, just to go, go talk to Lisa Rodriguez. She's impacted so many people. So this evening, we gather to celebrate Donnelly, Donnelly College and to honor Lisa Rodriguez for f following her dreams for working hard, for serving God and our community, for all her success. We're very proud of her. But she knows something, that there are dozens, hundreds of young people in our city who are just like Lisa Rodriguez. And a number of them are here tonight. They too want to study and learn. They also have great hopes and big dreams. Some of them are dreamers with a capital D. They desire to serve and honor God with their lives. Many of them, God willing, will fall in love and have their own families, and they would like to find careers that help others and serve our community, just like Lisa Rodriguez. So where's... So the question is, where should they go? How, how can they get from here to there? And it's the same answer as 20 years ago. It's Donnelly College, KCK. Donnelly College can help them achieve their goals and get from here to there. Lisa Rodriguez is very honored for being inducted into the Donnelly College Hall of Fame. She thanks all of you for this special recognition. She's very grateful to Donnelly College for helping her to get to where she is today and for helping make her dreams come true. So on behalf of Dr. Lisa Rodriguez, thank you all very much. Thank you, Father Michael. Congratulations again to all our inductees.